Okay, I'm going to try and show an autofocus routine here. Um, I've got the computer set ready to go. I actually got the monkey head in preview up there. But I'm going to do an autofocus. So what I'm going to do is go over here to the autofocus routine. Click go. It's going to come up with a screen that looks like this. And it's going to... I have it set for five seconds over here. And it's going to automatically figure out the focus here. And so I just get it started and let it go. It picks the stars. It does everything on its own. Now, this video is going to be a little bit longer than I normally show, but I'm going to let you see the whole thing here. And I'm sorry if I'm not got it quite at the horizontal angle, but I'm not used to taking video on the phone, I guess. Um, you're probably saying, well, wait a minute, that's not a tablet and that's not a phone. I said, no, it isn't. It's it's a Dell computer. Oh, 16 gigs of RAM and a 15.8 inch screen, I think. And um, it has running BlueStacks, which is an Android emulator. And uh, as of right now, it's not a supported platform, but as of right now, ZWO has very very nicely left it alone and so we can use blue stacks to run uh asi air i would i was going to use my tablet tonight and my friend came over and got my tablet because he's using one of my pros and it's been authorized on that tablet and he has to use that tablet to get it to work so i had to reinstall the operating system on one of my pros and so the authorization is on that tablet so i don't have that available tonight and um uh so i'm using the blue stacks and being that I'm 72 and my eyes aren't what they used to be, I like the bigger screen a lot of nights too. So we're just letting the, uh, I notice I'm not doing anything. Once I got it started, I just sit back and relax. And what it will do, it will defocus the stars, then it will refocus the stars. And you can't, I don't think you can see it too well up in here, that thing right there. But it's showing the size of the stars getting smaller and their value. You might be able to make that out. Um, it's trying to get to simulate into a uh, curve, a V shape or a very sharp U shape, and it will get the stars focused, but then it will defocus them again and go up the other side of the curve and then refocus it. So that's why this routine takes a little bit of time. So there's a defocus, a refocus, a defocus, and a refocus. At least that's the way it looks like to me. I'm not sure... I'm sure if ZWO watches this video, they can probably explain it a lot better than I can. But that's what it appears to do. It appears to defocus the stars, then refocus, then defocus again, and then refocus again. So, and then it usually comes up with the 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 best value. And right now it's working on making the curve, as you can see. I am, like I said earlier, I'm trying for the monkey head tonight. I'm running out of time with it. It's getting over towards my roof line and into the west, and I lose my western sky. So I'm going to have to try and get as much of the monkey head as I can this next week or two. And I also would like to get the rosette. And you can see, ah, now the curve is starting to show up. It's not quite a good curve yet, but it will get there. And what will happen here at the end is once it gets the focus... It will show you a little red dot towards the bottom of the curve. You might not see the red dot on here. I'm not sure if you will or not. But it will then load a 10-second preview on the main screen. And if I get back to it in time, you can see that. If not, I have to do a 10-second uh, exposure just to show you how the stars look then. And you can see, if you can see that little white screen there at all, which I don't think you can... The stars are really defocused now. This is the second defocus. Remember I told you they had defocus and that refocus, then it defocus. Now it's going to refocus. And that's what it's doing now. The scope I'm using is a uh, Radian Raptor 61 millimeter quad. Um, it's on a Skywatcher EQ6R Pro mount that's been hyper-tuned and uh, it's a very good combination very good combination I really have fallen in love with this Radiant Raptor it has got me a lot of good images now the stars are really getting close to being focused now
And there's the red dot, and the value it gives me is 2.0. Okay, the red dot is this one right down here, in case you can't see the color. It's that one right there. Okay, the one right at the bottom. And I'll move zoom in here so you can see the numbers. And you probably see the tinge of red into the one. And that's the last numbers it came up with for tonight's seeing. That's the best focus you can get. So now, let me go get rid of this screen. Oh, by the way, I'm using an L enhanced filter too. So, and you didn't see it load up. So I will, oh, I'm sorry, hit the wrong thing. There we go. And I will do a 10 second exposure. And then it should all be done. And it's loading up the exposure now. And I don't know if you can tell. You really can't tell much on this screen, but those stars are nice pinpoint stars. Trust me. Nice pinpoint stars. Okay, so that's it. That's an autofocus routine. And I'm sorry the video took longer than that, but that's about how long it takes. It's right now at about 6 minutes and 15 seconds. Clear skies, everybody.